that's some issues, then I'm going to teach you how to use Nexus 5. Okay, and I'll put a link in the description to download it. Okay, once you've opened it up, it should look like this. Okay, right, all the tools are in the start menu. Uh, you can go on net tools, file tools, system tools, all these different types of tools. There's about 200, 300, no, there's shit loads in together. You get port scanners, scan, but that's going to come up with like, loads. And you can just look at what load, what ports they've been going on, or whatever. No, that's a branch port scanner, that one. You get spoofers, email bomber, which basically just allows you to send emails to people and just bomb them. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. I've just been testing it out and it didn't work because it's American. And yeah, okay, right, here's the main tool I want to focus on UDP flooding right here. Okay, once you click on that, it should look like this. Okay, um, what some people do is they use this for Xbox, which is what I try to do. Type in 27.27.27.27. Do that four times. Okay. okay. And you copy data. And you click that, and then you click Control V, and do that for about 30 seconds, and then you put the speed up to 10, and then you click Start. And what that would do is it would connect to your Xbox, um, and then like um, if you are a host of a game in Modern Warfare 2 or 3, or something, or just a game, it would completely lag it up. And yeah, okay. Um, however, what it does. Um, to do it is it has to um, send all that data that you've made um, through your system and if um, and what happened to me is I'd um, done it for like three minutes and it completely fucked up the internet um, so don't hold it down for three minutes and put the speed on low I'd recommend that, about 15% about there if you're going to do loads but if you're going to do like a couple of like five, ten times something like that, I'm not actually sure how much or what speed but just uh, just try not to crash your own Wi-Fi because I've done that a couple of times, and you have to restart it. Um, if it does happen, you, all you have to do is just restart it, and it's fine. Okay. Um, wait. I'm just going to charge it. Uh, connect the con charger because it seems to be low on battery. All right. Okay, that's the charger connected. Okay, right, um, and other tools, um, uh, you've got shit though, too, really. Uh, you can choose what you want, port scanners, IP stealers, connection testers, uh, you can do anonymous emails, so that, um, if you want to try and send, like, a Trojan or anything like that to someone, you can just make it so that, uh, they don't know it's you. Um, you got loads, really. It's hundreds. I uh, you can get Nmap. Um, I don't know, actually know what it does, I think it's some sort of port scanner or something like that. Actually, I actually have no idea. Um, I would recommend this um, if you're like starting out hacking because this has hundreds of tools um, to teach you like, what you can do in the world of hacking. Um, it's what I started out with, plus with pain label as well. And yeah, it's a really good, really, really good file um, program. Has loads. Uh, you can encrypt files, decrypt files. Um, I think it's still a password. Um, you can like put passwords on files, and I think it might be a password recovery system as well. I know if you're doing something that you don't want people to see, and someone walks into your room, you can just like click matrix, and then your screen goes black, and to recover, it's got a click, and then it goes back. Or you can make it go fuzzy, like this, and it goes fucked up, and then again, just click, and it goes back. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I shall see you later.